and we are live he says with hesitation and interpretation as always welcome to this um latest episode of totally unscripted um so in a change to uh the scheduled program we've got something slightly different unfortunately uh real notman who uh was going to join us today his his wife isn't well so we're on to plan b in terms of uh, a show but um we're hoping to um keep on topic so we're, we're, we've basically got uh, bits and pieces of um firebase uh, to talk about so uh, quite a few different news items that we'll, we'll just go through so um the first one of this um kind of falls on from uh, last show when we were speculating what what was happening with um new sites in terms of apis and um lo and behold google have um uh kind of given us a a, a, a ray of hope uh with this recent update um on to the um google apps uh, or now the google suite users so um the announcement was mainly about the fact that old sites was going to be deprecated and the process um for moving across but at the bottom of that post there were um uh, a number of features that aren't in new sites right now but they said they would implement and the bottom one is probably the most important for us uh, in the app script community is api abilities so um do do we <laughs> i i take it we all welcome this news <laughs> i i know steve this is an area that you've been quite interested and vocal on so Yes, because uh, I've heard some rumblings of people not having confidence in using Google Sites as an intranet for the business and enterprise level. And and it's good to hear that this list is now out to say, here are some things that are coming down the roadmap. So it's encouraging to see this. Um, so there's no dates on this. Um, so um, I think it sounded like they would, we'd start seeing some things by the end of the year. Um, but um, uh, positive progress. So moving on, next thing. So this is something that um, you picked up, uh, Steve, from yesterday that um, for uh, Google admins, uh, G Suite admins, uh, there is a, a new console view that um, um, is showing activity um, based on App Script and um, App Maker if you're in the early access program. Steve or anyone else, have you been able to access this and see what level of reporting you get? Tested it yet? Uh, no. Uh, well, based on uh, what we can see from the screenshot uh, for now, uh, it seems the uh, reports are pretty simple. But I will be interested to know exactly what we can get if we use the uh, download uh, icon we can see on the screenshots. Yeah. Uh, but if uh, we take a look at the um, um, at the announcement, uh, it says that uh, uh, the feature will launch uh, 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 through the next uh, days. So we should be able to test it uh, pretty quickly. So hopefully in the next um, show, we'll, we'll be able to um, perhaps just pull out some of the data that we can see from that. So um, it's been a while since we've had, I think, a big outage from App script, but they do happen. So um, this was uh, quite a recent one on the 2nd of May. So Andrew Stillman, um, I think, was the first one to uh, open the issue take out on this. So there was an issue with the, the JSON parse um, uh, within add-ons. Um, so um, I think, Steve, you were monitoring this one quite closely as well. How long? Does it take before the services were resumed? Um, it, it happened about 9 p.m. GMT time zone. It lasts about two to three hours. So depending on your user base, they were either affected during that time or they weren't. So hopefully not, not too bad. I know I had some users with my add-ons that were affected. Yeah, the, uh, well, optimistic side here is that uh, recently, there was another uh, big issue affecting a lot of uh, add-ons uh, uh, scripts um, due to errors in the uh, properties uh, 
service uh, in AppScript. And uh, it took, I think, at least uh, uh, eight or 10 hours uh, for Google to uh, wake up simply uh, and uh, uh, change uh, something in their system. And uh, after that, they say that uh, they will be more reactive in the future. And uh, in, indeed, uh, this uh, specific issue hasn't uh, uh, taken so long for Google to, um, uh, well, it was rolled back uh, uh, very, uh, very fast. And uh, I, I think it's good, if, even if uh, it would be even better if uh, uh, we don't have to suffer uh, such issues, uh, if they are able to uh, respond quickly and uh, if we don't have to uh, wait for uh, one of the Googler to uh, wake up because they are all working on the same time zone, uh, it, it is better. Yeah, just a, a comment. I, I think that I think we've had three outages on property services quite recently, uh, one of them involving cash as well. And, and I think that the in each case, it was the result of a change. Um, and I think the last one they had to they rolled back the change quite quickly, which was which was good, but you know, property services is is is, uh, is vital to pretty much anybody who has got scripts that they share out. So, you know, I think that from certainly from my perspective, um, you know, we do need to keep reporting very quickly every time that we see a property service issue coming up. Um, number one, so that people can realize that this is something that's a big deal and not just a kind of a little thing. Um, and secondly, of course, so that we can get their attention rather quickly. Uh, you know, this, this this property service type thing is one of the, in my opinion, one of the worst things that can go wrong um, because it affects, from a scripting perspective, because it affects, you know, everybody. So let's keep up the pressure every time that we see um, anything like this and keep following it up. Um, did you talk much on authentication flow, the new flow? No, we didn't. We were waiting for you to talk about that. <laughs> so now you can. So, um, previously, you just went, uh, users, when they were prompted, they just went into kind of a scope of authorization. Uh, they've all been reskinned, and there's a new set where users um, select the account um, they want to use. Um, so, I don't know if this is related to um, there was a uh, quite publicized um, Google Docs phishing attack, um, which for once was not Google Apps Script <laughs> related. Um, Romain, do you want to talk a bit more to this? Uh, yes, uh, I, I think it was interesting to, to mention that because uh, for me, something like that was uh, going to happen at some point. Uh, and uh, well, the first thing is that uh, maybe in part uh, due to uh, app scripts and uh, uh, other tools using the uh, Google APIs, uh, people are uh, uh, they are used to authorize uh, a lot of different applications, and uh, here uh, this uh, specific. Uh, app or email was uh, asking uh, access to your uh, world Gmail inbox uh, and uh, to your world Google Drive. Uh, and people uh, authorized that uh, without any issue, without, uh, uh, as, well, m m maybe they, they thought it was, uh, uh, maybe they wondered uh, why it was asking that, but they, they still uh, granted the authorizations, and uh, uh, we've seen that uh, it has uh, spread um, very fast because um, every time uh, someone was uh, giving uh, access to his Gmail account, uh, this app was uh, getting access to uh, your contacts and was using the Gmail API uh, to send uh, the same emails to all your contacts, uh, so up to uh, 1,500 emails as, as it's the uh, daily uh, Gmail quota available. Uh, 
and uh, then all people were uh, all recipients were also uh, giving the same access and so on and so on. And so in some domains where a lot of people uh, were receiving uh, this email from their colleagues, uh, it uh, spread like crazy because uh, each coworker was uh, accept accepting and then sending uh, the email to other coworkers and so on and so on and so on. Uh, and for me, this is yeah, bound to happen again uh, because uh, people uh, continue to be uh, to uh, accept more, have to accept more and more uh, authorizations like that uh, every time they are using an add-on, an uh, app on mobile, and so on. And here, as they don't have to. Uh, give their password or anything. They just have to authorize the app to use their Gmail and Drive account. Uh, it's even, uh, uh, well, they, 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 they don't see any issue. Uh, people are uh, more um, responsible when uh, entering their password, uh, but when simply clicking on, in, on an authorize button, uh, they don't seem to care. And uh, it was interesting because uh, a lot of uh, uh, articles uh, from uh, tech blogs uh, on the web uh, say that uh, it was incredible because uh, the uh, authorization page really looked like a, a standard Google page. Uh, and it was even uh, from a Google.com URL and so on. But uh, yes, it was a real uh, Google page because it was uh, the uh, standard URL. Uh, used by Google to uh, ask uh, you to grant access to another app. Uh, and uh, so indeed, uh, because of all that, uh, people seem to uh, to trust uh, when they shouldn't. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, I think if I was right trying to uh, work on a phishing attack like that it might have been way worse <laughs> and uh, uh, if other hackers are uh, uh, well want to do the same it, i don't think it will be difficult and i don't really see a solution um, for google about that so yeah i don't know if it will happen again but uh, for me there's no reason why it shouldn't so if anybody's been affected by this, then the way to do it is to go to your authorized apps and find this application and, and remove the authorization that you've given it. I imagine that everybody's would have done that by now, but just in case. And uh, no, you, well, in fact, you don't need to because, uh, well, Google had to do something about that. So uh, they shut down the app and so on. Uh, it, uh, the, uh, all authorization that were given were given to a specific uh, uh, console project on the cloud platform, uh, which have been shut down. Well, I think okay. there were several projects. But anyway, it's done. Fair enough. It is, it, it is worrying um, how, uh, you know, it was a big relief for me that this wasn't actually Google Apps Script behind this, because quite often it is. Um, so, I think it's going to increasingly create headaches um, for Google, um, but hopefully, as a consequence, they they don't close what you know things that we use down for App Script. But we just have to wait and see.